what we're going to do now is we're going to use a send and we're going to add a effects chain to the send that will allow us to enhance the glitchiness and the edited sound of our piano loop here. So first of all, we're just going to listen to what we created last time. So we have a basic glitched up edited piano loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our send channel and on um, the return bus, we're going to start adding audio effects. So first thing we're going to add is we are going to add a Dubstation plugin from Audio Damage. Dubstation is a very cool plugin that gives uh, some really, you know, dubbed out spacey sounding delays. And we're just going to leave it on its initial preset called Auto Magic Dub. And because we're using it as a send, we're going to make sure that the wet dry is all the way maxed out. So now we're going to go back to our piano track and we're going to turn up the send. And we're going to see what that sounds like. So we've got some nice dubbed out sounding delay on it. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to add a bunch of additional effects and get a really crazy effects chain going here. So next thing we can add on here is a chorus effect. We're going to leave the chorus relatively mild at about 50%. And as you can see, it's added that nice chorus modulated effect to our delay trail. Now I'm going to use Ableton's built-in auto filter and add that to our effects chain as well. We're going to switch it to high pass mode and we're going to give it a little bit of resonance. We're going to set it to about 1.8 kilohertz here and we're going to give it a little bit of, little bit of resonance, but 1.6 Q here. And that's going to filter up, of course, and eliminate the low end out of our delay return. But because we're using quite a long delay trail here, I want to actually add some modulation to the high pass filter. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the LFO on the filter. We're going to max out the amount to make the effect extreme. And we're going to select this little note here to beat sync it to our host tempo. And we're going to keep it pretty slow. We'll do it. Um, one bar. And we're going to listen to how that sounds. Now you can hear the filter working and sweeping through the delay trail, which just enhances our effect. Now we're going to go back to the audio damage plugins. And there's another kind of glitchy plugin that I like to use frequently, which is called Replicant. Now we're going to add a Replicant in. And what Replicant is, is it's kind of like a beat, repeat, stutter, chopper kind of deal. And uh, it does some really crazy stuff to, to mangle whatever you put through it. And because our piano is already glitchy, I think we should make the effects channel as glitchy as we possibly can too and see what happens. So I'm going to switch this one down and I am going to use one of the presets. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's starting to do some beat repeat and stutter effects on our delay channel, which actually accentuate and play off of the, the piano verb channel that we already have running with some stutter effects on it. Next up, we're going to put in another delay. This time we're going to use a audio damage delay called Ricochet. And we're going to, again, we're going to turn it to, we're going to turn the mix up. And we're going to leave it on its default setting. Excellent. Now the last bit that we're going to do is we are going to add some side chaining compression to the return channel as well. So we're going to go back to our Ableton built-in plugins. We're going to drag down Ableton's compressor. And I've already set up a side chain send. Um, I'm using an impulse with a basic kick drum sample loaded in playing on quarter notes. And so we're going to open up the sidechain function right here. We're going to activate sidechaining and we're going to go audio input from the sidechain that I've already set up. So 
to monitor the sidechain, we can just listen to it here. That's a little loud, but we're not going to monitor the sidechain. So we're going to do that, and we're going to just play with our compressor settings a little bit. We're going to um, bring the re bring the threshold down so that we're getting some some definite uh, hard compression, and we're going to back off the attack a little bit. Leave the release at 20 ratio there, and we are going to kick back to our piano track and see how that all sounds. Now on a final note, I'm actually going to add another regular compressor behind the side chaining compressor just to compress the actual whole effects bus a little bit together and increase our volume. Cool. Sounds very spacey and atmospheric and very, very heavily edited. Let's just throw a, uh, throw a drum beat behind that and see how it all sounds together.